Good morning, North America. North America. What up, New York? Chicago. Mexico City. Toronto, Montreal, everybody. What up? Privateer FX checking out the New York Open. 5.30 New York time right now. Let's go over what is on tap here. Euro Yen looks like it wants to go lower. Not exactly sure why, but this seems to be the case. Driven mainly by Dollar Yen, but this level here will be the bull bear line for the New York session, 135.35. Easy to remember that, 135.35. This is also the 200 hour coming in right there. Clearing this, we will attack the 135.19 level, which then bleeds into 135 the figure. Normally, I wouldn't get too excited about Euro Yen two days before ECB, but the price is telling us. And as we all know, price never lies. So we're checking Euro Yen downside. Uh, as well as dollar yen downside. So BOJ this morning, first move was down to 54, second move up to 18. We saw a big offer at 20. Scared, scared the bids away. Now we're knocking on that 110.55 Asian low. This was just after BOJ made its policy announcement. I guess Kuroda made some slight tweaks in his commentary, but I thought it was quite a neutral statement. But neutral or not neutral, dollar yen is offered. It did not go up well, and it went down very, very well. So 110.50 is kind of, kind of the number. And then if you look at the more important chart, 110 the figure. Today it comes in. This trend line comes in at uh, basically 110 the figure. So psychologically important and technically important. This is a big moment for dollar yen at 110 the figure. 63.4 now. Just being patient. But we like dollar yen and euro yen left. We got what we wanted in the Aussie yen this morning. That was nice. Broke through 40, printed a low of 10, getting a little bit stretched now, almost a percent down in the day, but this is bearish engulfing at the high end of the range. No reason that this will not continue over the coming days. So Aussie Yen core short. This is what we like. Aussie, as you can imagine, did sort of the same. We got, uh, it took us th three tries, but eventually we got through 79, 78. We've printed a low of 56. There are stops below 40. These are likely to get done in the coming sessions. A lot of talk about uh, 79, the figure, two yards rolling off on the 29th. Let's just see when that is. Yeah, Monday. Monday next week. There's two yards rolling off at 79 the figure. This is annoying, um, but worth knowing. So, core short Aussie, core short Aussie yen. Got to be aware of these flows. For me, it just means first time down below 79 is probably a buy. But you're just jobbing your short position when we get down there. Let's look at Euro. I'm not even sure why. It's not really much to look at. We went down to 23, which I guess is kind of important. Um, yesterday's low was 15. And then we had a 22 low. I don't know. I don't know what to do with Euro. ECB is getting perilously close. So just avoid it, I think. Save your bullets. Get ready to strategize for Thursday, which should bring some vol. 
Nothing to do in Euro. We got some NAFTA stuff today. Negotiations. This could bring some uh, Canada and Mexval. Sideways consolidation here in dollar CAD. Top side, I would guess, is at risk, but no strong feeling here. 125.32 is, is, is the Bank of Canada high. Um, so this is an important chart point. Not sure what to do with that. But 125.32 is kind of your bull bear line for today. What else do we got? Let's check out our cryptos, which are sinking. 940 for Ethereum. Chuck your bids in. 850, 750, 650. Be creative. Be, imagin be imaginative. But throw some wild bids down there for the inevitable scurrying out of these positions. But as we say time and time again, Bitcoin and Ethereum, they're not going away anytime soon. And you want to just try and play the volatility on the downside. Try and get good core short at a nice average. Same thing in Bitcoin. It's off 5% today, 10,300. I'd be tempted to buy some uh, at 10,000, but... We're 92 and 82 right now, 9200, 8200. We'll just see how this pans out. Got to keep it light, got to keep it nimble. There's a fair bit of hysteria in these kind of markets, which is one of the reasons we like them. Um, but same strategy. Buy the dip. I guess that's about it. Main focus, dollar yen. Euro yen, Aussie yen. We're basically buying yen against a basket and we're trying to remain core short yen crosses and we are going to get short dollar yen through 110.50. Good luck and we will see you tomorrow at the European Open. Ciao.